welcome back to the channel. This is Mystic Waters today. We are playing episode. I know, I know I haven't played this in a minute. I told y'all that I wanted to come back to this. I'll still be doing Sims, but of course, I'm always going to read episode. Love, love, love. I just wanted to break Sims in, have a couple of videos out. That way you guys, you know, be able to watch different things. So I'm so excited to get back to Wentworth like you all. I have been dying, dying to get back. So I'm finally here. So let's go ahead and get started. Get st st started. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing good? I know I'm doing good. All right. Wentworth's purpose must be a secret to the general public. We already know what has went down. Brent's my stepbrother. Like, girl. Ugh. Look at his face. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. Yes, you do need to tell me something. First year, Lee Chung is dead. There's a dead girl in the ballroom, and the first thing they think to do is nothing? What does Wentworth have to hide? Lee was seeing someone. Lee was seeing Dean Oliver. And it went down, y'all. If I haven't seen it, y'all got to go to the playlist, honey, and catch up. Catch up, honey. Down you go, Flores. I don't know where that accent came from. I just felt like sounding like that. Went through the fucking spy school. We're a division of the CSA. Now that you've caught our attention, let's talk about what you've gotten yourself into and what comes next. Oh, slam. Hey, Dean Ligari, I'm all packed and ready for Mag Mongolia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. The car's downstairs and waiting for you and your partner. Y'all remember who the partner is? Y'all remember? Y'all remember who the partner is? I remember. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Partner. Y'all, like, I'm like super excited. I'm not reading correctly. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You're en route to Mongolia, the home of your CSA sponsored internship with your not really, you're not really ex Brent Atwood, stepbrother to your not really Bay Ari, who's gone ghost recently. You and Brent haven't spoken in a while. The event of Lay's mother and you finding out Ari, his stepsister, haven't allowed the time, but a month long internship is more than enough to catch up. Could it hurt to break the ice? So should we talk about Mongovia or should we talk about the mission? Let's talk about Mongovia. So, Mongovia. I hear there's weather's nice. <laughs> Guess I'll finally get to see for myself. Will it be your first time in Asia? Nah, my stepdad owns a hotel in Singapore. We visit from time to time. First time in Mongovia, though? You? Definitely my first time in Asia outside of Paraguay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! love you guys Paraguay my fam doesn't travel much that's right you visit your grandparents every Christmas don't you sorry <laughs> yep nah not this year obviously they're pretty pissed about it too you should see the threats they left me on what what's up what's up <laughs> <laughs> if they only knew you were on the other side of the globe saving the world. If only you realize how much sacrifice your future career may require. No one will know about your missions, the risk and danger that arises from them. You'll be doing it for yourself, by yourself. That could get lonely fast without someone who understands the field themselves. So I heard about you taking down Dean Oliver. Kudos. I didn't take him down. He nearly killed me, but thanks. Who said that? Right? Like, who said that? Like, how you know? Who's spreading that lie around? How's it a lie? The douche in the CSA cussed you because of you. He nearly slapped my neck in half, friend. Trust me, it's a lie. The bruises on my neck only went away two weeks ago. I almost died. Like, get it together, Brent. Are you in the right state of, or are you in the right mental state to handle this mission? Of course I am. Why even ask that? Because it was traumatizing, Flores. It's okay if you're not over it yet. Okay, we're done speaking about this. Did you see the girl at the end looking like, okay, child? Mongovia is a fictional country loosely based on. Dang it. Went too fast. You <laughs> reach. What? L. <laughs> you reach. Hulan Bahai. 
get off that mind, Goby. Uh, just before dawn, the crisp countryside farmland, fresh air, and snowy terrain draws you close. <laughs> Y'all, make sure y'all like, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know y'all enjoying the content. So go ahead and subscribe and like. Girl, I see you. Anyway, agents, welcome to Ola Baja. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I'm Agent Rogers. Let's get you introduced to the Royals and hit the town. I'll debrief you on the way to the city square. So soon, can we take a nap first? Sound, I'm just gonna say, sounds good. <laughs> you sure are upbeat for someone right off a 13 hour flight. I like that. Follow. I'm lying, yo. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like in real life, I'm tired. Anyway, bow to the queen so she acknowledges us. Oh, bow. <laughs> almost missed that. I almost pushed stand. Are these the novice agents? They look so young. An elegant woman in gold-trimmed clothing watches you in amusement. Queen Tuya's presence holds the same reverence as her name. They may be a young, but they're beyond capable, your highness. Very well, then. Rise to your feet now. That's enough. My daughter's on her way. She may have some insight. You do not... You. You do not, Rogers. Okay, I don't know why I've read it like that. Forgive my tardiness. The gardens needed a little tending to. Are these the agents? The beautiful princess looks you and Brent over. Brent especially. Oh, somebody like it, leggy. <laughs> what? Chmig, fill the agents in on the uprisings and take them to their rooms. Yeah, my am. Yeah, 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 my am. Yeah, my am. That background is nice. Y'all see that? All that gold and stuff. Tensions high throughout the country. People aren't satisfied with the old way of rule. But Mongovia's traditional matriarchal monarchy has been used for centuries. <laughs> the rebels want something different. No more queens, just a ruler, a male ruler. And they've taken the path of destruction to make their voices heard. It seems like there's nothing I can do to stop it from here. My mother doesn't act it, but she's terrified of the violence escalating. So am I. Princess, what can you tell us about... Okay, I get to ask all questions. What's happened thus far? Same, some of the events that have taken place. There have been bombings and massacres as the rebels retaliate. retaliate. In my head, I said it right, and then it came out as retaliate. retaliate. I still can't say it retaliate god against the throne every week brings something new and terrible there's only so much we can do here in the palace you three are our greatest hope hmm blending into the crowd during missions how to blend in with the masses hmm mongovia's tend to avoid the color white don't wear white noted if you intend to fit in, you'll need to look the part. If you want, I can have someone deliver clothing for the both of you. Okay. Potential leads. Attacks have been rather sporadic. I think I said that right. There's no consistency to where the rebels hit. I'm so proud of myself. I said, I read that real good, y'all. <laughs> My mother needs the violence to stop. Children have lost parents to this and parents, their children. <laughs> We're going to try our best to bring to, to an end, princess. Thank you. Give me a hug, big old boy. Sorry, I added that. <laughs> if you don't mind, princess, we need to set them up with their room. Soon would be nice. Right, of course. <sighs> okay. There's only one bedroom available, though. Hopefully, that's not a problem. It is. It really is. <laughs> that's no problem. These two are professionals, so they don't mind sharing. You are great. The princess walks you and your new roommate to your quarters. It's getting juicy, you guys. Meet me in the front of the palace after changing. We'll take a car to the city. You can take the room to change. I'll change in the bathroom. Thanks, boo. As Brent leaves the room, you survey the rest of the house. Space, I meant. <laughs> that house the room is spacious so's the bed not that it matters no what matters to you is choosing the right outfit to blend in with the locals i'm not even going to try with that word like i cannot 
Okay, so no whites. <laughs> um, they're cute. Let's do this one. Let's let's do that one. I think that's super cute. With the boots and the water. And the boots and the with the boot 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 boot. Oh, look at her! All up on there, just dancing. The rebels frequent to CD Tavern in Upper uh, Ulan Bahi. Yeah, no. Your first task is uncovering useful information from the locals. Think smart, blend in, and use any methods you can to extract info. We'll have you mic'd up, so call for backup when needed. All right, well, Blendy, you dress appropriately for the mission. You and Britt enter the tavern unnoticed by the bumbling... Bumbling... I think I said that right here, crowd. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. Oh! <sighs> Dress to skill. You gained a stealth skill. Okay. I worked my way through the back. You got the front handled. Of course I've got this. Or should I say yes? Or I might need back. I'm going to say yes. I got it. Leave the front to me. A few faces have caught my eye already. Good luck. Whatever. The young bartender behind you draws your attention. Speaking to them may be a chance to learn more about the rebels. Should I flirt or chat? We're just going to chat. Whiskey straight, please. Girls like you don't usually do whiskey. It's more of a man's drink. What's the matter? Boyfriend problems? You ignore the bartender's gendered assumptions. Whiskey's been your favorite drink since you saw your mother sip it at parties. And if anything, you have potential girlfriend problems. Ari's gone ghost on you for weeks. But none of that matters at the moment. You have info to gather. It's the uprisings. A factory burned down a few days ago. Everyone's on edge. Smooth lies fall from your lips so credible you almost believe them yourself. Don't fret about it too much. It's all going according to his plan. Whose plan? The man without face or name. Mongovia's saving grace. Is he the one behind the uprising? It's been so dangerous lately. No rabbit hops or bumblebees without his say-so. But the worst of it will soon be behind us. You uncover intel for the bartender due to a past choice. Hmm. The man without face or name command commanders the rebels. Com commandeers. I don't know. I'm done. Oh my god! And then I heard the beeping in the background. Sorry if you guys heard that. It's a stupid truck outside. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for everything. You gained a mission point. Okay. Another person of interest. The seething man in the back of the tavern. Why he looks on me? Looks like someone's in deep need of a drink. Can I get you anything? No drinks, thank you. You sure? You seem a little tense right now. I'm not here to drink, okay? Jeez. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have lashed out at you like that. I'm just, I need to do this alone. Do what? I'm keeping watch. Over who? Let's just say they're up to no good and you're best distancing yourself from this place. This pub's their nesting ground. Do they have something to do with the uprisings? Can't answer that here. They have eyes and ears all over this damn tavern. How about you text me when you feel safe enough to talk? What's going on over here? The rebel's gaze wavers between you and his scowling man. You slip your number into the scrowls man's hands and dash. Good lord, what's going on? Quick, hop in. What is happening, you all? It's some sh going down. You return to the palace late, your mind fuzzy and body limp. It's been some kind of day. You ignore the sheen of light radiating on Brent's perfectly toned body. That ship been sailed, honey, right? Did it? But did it though? <laughs> you can say that again. Jet lag is nothing to play with. Agent Rogers said it'll get better after the first week. Yay, just six more nights of hell to go then. What's the meteor? Wait, where's that meteor when you need it? My body's exhausted, but I can't sleep. What's keeping you up? The mission, Lee Chung, Ari. I'm gonna just say Ari, because that's probably what it is. Ari vanished from the surface of this planet. It's the only explanation. She doesn't respond to any of my messages, calls, or video chats anymore. Maybe she's just busy. Ari's always been busy with journalism stuff, but she'd still make time for me. Now I can't even get left on scene. I wonder what's that all about? <laughs> Maybe her phone's broken? I just hope she's okay. She's fine. He knows something. What happened? Enough about me, though. How are things with you and Chow? Seem to be going strong? Chow's great. She's attentive, cute, and like me for me. 
That's everything you can want in a woman. I'm happy for you. You look great together. What's wrong with you? But she's not. Oh, but she's not you. Sorry. <laughs> he whispered it so softly it could easily fade into the night. But you hear him clearly. Brent still wants you. I mean, duh. I could have said that. I could have told you that, honey. I could have told you that, honey. Why do I have only one? I, okay, so I messed up on something. Dang, dang it. Dang it. Do I want to top up? <laughs> Let's go. I want to top up, okay? I want to. Okay. Can I top up on this? Okay. Can I top up on this? Okay. Can I top up on this? How do you top up? Yes. <laughs> well, I cheated. I don't care. <laughs> Y'all didn't see that. Ignore it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so glad that I read episode. I haven't read episodes since the last time I freaking like posted. So I'm like super excited to get back to it. And it's a season one finale on the next episode. So I'll make sure I'll read that. You know what? I might post it tomorrow. You never know. You never know. You might see me post tomorrow the next day. I want to try to post a little bit more so I can stay in this algorithm. Also, um, Sims is not going to be every other day like episode. Like episode is more like it's going to fill in because Sims takes a little bit longer. Um, but I will still be doing Sims. Don't worry about that. Um, you guys let me know down below how you guys are feeling about how the channel's going. What y'all want to see more. I mean, if y'all want to see something more, let me know. And I'll do that more. I can play other games. You know, just let me know. It's, it's all about us. It's going to be all about us. You know what I'm saying? You know, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. I see a lot of people that are not subscribed that watch my channel. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for watching love you love you love you and i'll talk to you guys later